Former North Dakota Governor Ed Schaefer has been named UND's interim president. He's going to take over in January. That's when current President Robert Kelly retires and the search for a new president begins. As Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us, it appears the selection of the former Republican governor by the Board of the Higher Ed is a decision both sides of the political aisle welcome. It appears Schaefer won't be afraid to start quickly clearing away the fog from some sticky issues at UND, including morale problems and the ongoing nickname controversy. I believe you can go in there on an interim basis and try to figure out where to go, how to do it, you know, kind of right the ship of UND. So when the new president comes in, you know, they can spend their time and energy and talents in moving the university forward and up and up instead of having to deal with some of this stuff. We have to slog through the swamps a bit. Even folks on the other side of the aisle say Schaefer is a good choice. State Democratic Senator and Minority Leader Max Snyder says Schaefer is someone everyone can work with. If he could get the nickname issue behind us, that would be an incredible accomplishment. Uh, and so I, I really think that uh -huh. Governor Schaefer can be a tremendous benefit okay. to the next president, you know, uh -huh. sort of addressing some of these more controversial issues, trying to smooth out the rough edges, uh -huh. and leaving the cupboard full for the next president. A couple of other Grand Forks, Democratic state legislators also approve of naming Schaefer UND's interim president. Representative Elliot Glassheim says he's probably not too bad of a manager. The university needs some of that. Senator Connie Triplett says, I think it's fabulous. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. President Kelly retires January 14th and Schaefer's scheduled to take over the next day. It's expected the search for a new president at UND could take as long as a year.